Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. We have some very, very good news regarding AT&T. This article will be linked down below for you in the description. It is coming from Cord Cutters News. Now we all know what's been going on with the ACP program. For months, many customers that are on this program have been panicking about what is going to happen if funding is completely done. If there's no money left to assist you you may be one of the customers participating in this program that is severely financially strapped at this moment. You may consider yourself destitute and you don't know how you're going to get by, let alone be able to provide internet service or phone service for yourself and maybe your family. The ACP program is not done yet, but the FCC announced that there's really only a little bit of money left and that's only an amount to cover partial payments at this time. And we don't even know how long that will last. We know that in May, there'll be some partial payments left. I believe customers on this program will be covered anywhere between seven and $16 for the program. And I don't know what will happen in June, July, August, September, and so on and so forth. If the FCC is not able to find any additional funding, the program will be cut completely. This is where AT&T is going to step up. They announced that they will continue to offer $30 a month internet to anyone who qualified for the ACP program, even if the funding for it runs out. They made a statement here, which reads, As the federal government's affordable connectivity program winds down later this spring, Absent additional funding from Congress, AT&T will continue to offer our access from AT&T service. Access makes the internet more affordable for customers by providing qualifying households with high-speed internet for $30 per month. This service includes Wi-Fi at no additional charge and does not include deposit fees. The company will expand connectivity offers to include AT&T prepaid, Cricket, and other connectivity solutions as they become available. At the same time, AT&T will continue to advocate that policymakers renew funding for the affordable connectivity program and find a long-term solution to support families most in need. People affected by the digital divide need policies in place to help stimulate the private investment needed to create more affordable high-speed internet access. So, beautiful statement by AT&T. There's been a lot of negativity surrounding this company over the last couple of months with the outage a uh, bunch of cyber attacks, leaked data and information of many customers in the billions. It's a lot of bad stuff, right? But at the end of the day, all of our favorite wireless carriers have been in this seat, hot seat before. They've all been in the same negative position AT&T is right now. So it is a wonderful thing to see that in spite of all the garbage being spread about AT&T, whether it's their fault or not, that they can still pull themselves together and do something good for customers. Not only is it a good thing for themselves, because it's very smart business-wise to do this, but it is also a good thing for the many Americans that will suffer if this program runs out and are probably going to suffer at least half the way with partial payments. There are many Americans with families out there that really don't have enough to get by. They're hardworking people. They just, they're not making enough money, you know, and we see it all the time. So a company like AT&T stepping up, continuing to try to help people that are affected by the digital divide, I think is a really cool thing. Um, They're saying that the ACP has several efforts to fund the program. Um, Of course, this bill would provide an extra $7 billion to keep the ACP running. So we can't hold our breath on it. And the fact that you know, AT&T is willing to assist customers and, and also expand that, that effort of help by trying to include more offers with AT&T prepaid, Cricket, and other connectivity solutions is also a wonderful thing. So they're not just giving you the $30 for the internet, they're trying to help you get on, in, you know, wireless service as well, whether it's through AT&T prepaid or Cricket, whatever it is, 
I mean, I think that's really cool. So this is very, very good news, most certainly worth discussing. And uh, I think, you know, commending AT&T as many times as I can, because, you know, they're, they're basically a leader in this right now. You know, we've heard about Spectrum, too, stepping up and offering some uh, good discounted internet service as well. And I was very happy hearing about that. So I'm also extremely happy about AT&T doing this. And I, I hope that we'll hear more from our other wireless carriers, T-Mobile and Verizon as well. Most certainly, after hearing this news, I'm pretty sure Verizon and, and uh, T-Mobile are going to try to work something up because they don't want to be the only ones not going out there and trying to help their customers that are basically going to probably leave and go to AT&T. If T-Mobile doesn't offer some kind of solution like this and Verizon doesn't as well, which I, I haven't heard anything about it, so correct me if I'm wrong, comment down below if you've heard some updates about Verizon and T-Mobile doing something similar. Please let me know because I, I definitely want to uh, be updated on that. I haven't heard anything about it, but if they haven't, they certainly need to because there's going to be a lot of customers that are not going to be able to afford T-Mobile or, or Verizon, and they're going to go to AT&T. So it's very smart for AT&T to do this. And it is also, at the same time, a very good thing because, like I said, there's going to be a lot of customers affected by this, whether it's half the funding right now or even worse, come June, no funding whatsoever for these customers. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. If you do appreciate the news on this channel, just give us a like. And if you stumbled upon this video and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. We do talk a lot about wireless news. I throw a little bit of di different types of technical updates once in a while. It's mostly wireless. A lot of, uh, you know, cord cutting news is on here as well, because I kind of feel like it's all in the same realm. You know, if, if you like wireless service, most likely you have internet service and, you know, it's all hand in hand. It's all brother, sister, family like stuff. But anyway, once again, thanks for stopping by and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.